Welcome back. Imagine if everyone in the county where you lived participated in one plan to get healthy. That's right. Dodge County is taking on this task and is called it's called the Blue Zone Project. And to tell us more about this healthy movement is Janelle Weeblehouse uh, and Olivia Griffith, uh, both with the Blue Zone Projects here in Dodge County. Welcome, you guys. We're so Thank excited. You to know that we could actually live to 100 if we do certain things. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so Blue Zones Project is a well-being initiative that's been brought to Wisconsin for the very first time, thanks to a sponsorship by Beaverdam Community Hospital. Yeah. And we're celebrating this with some kickoff events next week. But what makes Blue Zones Project so special and so exciting is that it's a total well-being initiative. It's not just exercising and eating right, mm -hmm. but it works with individuals to help them find their sense of purpose and to help them connect socially with their community. It goes beyond that working in the communities to work with the places that we spend a lot of our time outside of our homes. So our schools, our work sites, our restaurants, our grocery stores, helping these areas to make the healthy choice the easy choice. And then finally, we work in community policy where we help communities make decisions that are gonna impact positively the food environment, also the tobacco and alcohol policies and the built environment. So making our communities more walkable and bikeable and not yes. just conducive to the automobile. What is the Blue Zones concept about? specifically. I mean, yeah. where did it come from? Yeah. So let's yeah, the Blue Zones project is based off of research done by National Geographic fellow Dan Butner and his team of researchers. They went all across the world trying to find um, where people were living the longest and not just the longest, but had the most life and longevity mm -hmm. as well. Quality of life. Quality of life. Okay. Absolutely. So they found five areas um, that include Okinawa, Japan, Loma Linda, California, right here in the U.S. Awesome. Then we have Sardinia, Italy, Icaria, Greece, and Nicoya, Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. okay. And within these five blue zones, they found commonalities. So there, we call them the Power Nine Principles. I think, do you want to explain a little bit yeah. more? Yeah. yeah, what is that about? So the Power Nine Principles are the ideas, the places that they visited in the blue zones and they really embedded themselves to determine what made a difference in these cultures and societies. So the first piece is to move naturally. They weren't running marathons or joining gyms. Instead, they were finding ways to move naturally every day, walking more, biking to work, uh, possibly taking the stairs instead of the elevator. The second piece that's also important is having the right outlook. So having a strong sense of purpose, why you get up in the morning, mm -hmm. and also taking time to downshift, de-stress, which we don't do enough of in this culture. Mm -hmm. It also has a component of eating right and eating wisely. And most people in the blue zones eat largely a plant-based diet. So cutting out um, the meat, not entirely, but just cutting back on it. Mm -hmm. And finally, the, the main piece that they found in all of these cultures is that they were very connected socially. So they had a family, a strong support network around them. They put family first. They had friends and they surrounded themselves with what we call the right tribe, people that are gonna support them in these healthy habits and these healthy lifestyle choices that they make. That's very cool. And we were showing it in a pyramid form there, which I think is really yeah. interesting because a lot of people associate this look of a pyramid with the food pyramid. And <laughs> this is taking it one step further and breaking the pyramid into, again, all of these components that really go into being healthy. And it isn't just about what you eat, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's about the way that we fuel our soul, our mind, and our body. Absolutely. And it so, becomes a lifestyle thing. Not, It doesn't have to be so laborious right. or daunting. It's, right. it's yeah. a lifestyle. Yeah. So is the county really, everybody's in on this, huh? We're doing this together. To and we are. We're recruiting the truth. This is cool. So we're going to okay. do something really innovative today. And I mean, everybody's probably not outfitted with one of these, but hey, you could probably do it. Um, we're making a smoothie with a bicycle. Absolutely. What is in our smoothie today? So we have a quarter cup of coconut, um, coconut yogurt. We have a half cup of mango, half cup of pineapple, and then we're going to add a half cup of almond milk. So a great way to add some more fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. fruits specifically in this case, into your diet. Really good. And that you know, was one of the things on the pyramid is to try to have more plant-based right. food right. And, and less. And the other piece is to move naturally. So yeah. we're going to take this two in one and put okay. it on our smoothie bike. This I is so it. cool. <laughs> going to hop on the bike. We'll She's going to strap it down, yes. folks. We got to seat belt the smoothie. <laughs> seat belt the smoothie. Love it. There we go. All right. Okay. okay. All right. And Get after it. She's going to take it for a spin. And we just go. Finding ways to move naturally. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> there you go. And there. Oh, my goodness. Nice smoothie. If you'd and, like to try And it. voila.
There, there you go. You go. Oh, cool. Easy as that. You know, we do this at my house too, except for that Delish. I have to put uh, chocolate powder in it to get my son to drink it. But uh, but hey, we're on the right track, Whatever I suppose. Works. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to, to health and uh, uh, well-being on all tiers. Right? And speaking of Absolutely. smoothies, you guys, I saw on the list one glass of wine a day. Mm, is that, that okay? Real? Is that really it true? Is. <laughs> well, the, the important pieces that they found in the Blue Zones, it's not only that they drink a glass of wine, which have, has a lot of antioxidant pro properties, especially red wine, mm -hmm. but that they're drinking it socially. So again, yes. that social mm -hmm. connected is really, connectedness is really important and key in the Blue Zones area. Yeah, yeah. okay. And we, and this we is have really a, good. And do we have a book that we can follow so that Stephanie can maybe get to 100 yeah. at some point? So, <laughs> uh, Dan, you, you got a long a time. Books, the Blue Zones and the Blue Zones Solution. Okay. But you can come check out the Smoothie Bike next yeah. week, April 18th through the 23rd. We're having some kickoff events in the communities of Juneau, Mayville, Horicon, and Beaver Dam. So we invite the community to come on out, check out the Smoothie Bike. They'll get to hear from Nick Butner, who traveled with Dan to these Blue Zones, and Dan wrote the books on the Blue Zones, and just get to hear the stories about the Blue Zones project and um, learn a little bit more about it. Check out some other activities and giveaways as well. And there are cool. the dates. Yeah, awesome. the dates yep. are right there on your screen, everybody. Take a look so that you can get in on the Blue Zone. I love Absolutely. it. DodgeCounty.BlueZoneProject.com. <laughs>